is a review for the solar wind indicator. Uh, let's go ahead and attach solar wind indicator to this blank chart and show you what it looks like right out of the box. Uh, plenty of signals. We have trend signals, pullback signals, trend strengthening signals. I am going to show you what I like to do with it personally. And you know, that's one of my favorite things about Ninza indicators is this thing is just fully customizable. You can change every color, you can change all the indicator markers, you can change it to symbols or words and change just about every aspect of it. It's pretty amazing. So right away, I'm going to take off the logo and the instructions. I like to keep my chart pretty clean. Uh, the offset multiplier trend. I'm going to make that a bigger number, so it's going to make it kind of a more of a long-term trend. Um, I'm just going to show you a few little changes that I make to it. Uh, Ninza includes a, an instruction manual that tells you everything about every little setting and what it means and how you can change it. So that's very helpful as well. Uh, it's got a a little stop loss line too, this little dotted line that tells you, you know, if price breaks this dotted line, your stop line, then it's in a downtrend. And you see the trend changes right there and drops. But I also don't find the hollow and solid bar theme uh, too useful for me and my personal trading style. So I'm going to get rid of the outline and the bias. You can see what this looks like now. Now you can see we just have four colored candles. There's a deep blue for a strong uptrend and a deep pink for a strong downtrend. And then the pink kind of lightens up when it's ranging and when the trend is weakening. Uh, same with the uptrend. It turns a little bit lighter shade of blue when the trend is weakening or ranging. Now you can also change the background colors to anything you want. You can change the opacity and make it easier to see if that helps you. I like it. How they have it set up just a little bit light in the background. Uh, you can choose which alerts it'll print. Like if you just want to see the start of the trend and you don't want to see pullback or strengthening, you know, that cleans it up and it'll just show you the start of the trend. Uh, lots of different options. Uh, you can change the color of the markers, you can change what the what the markers say, you could make uh, symbols that it'll print, just pretty much anything you can come up with in your imagination. I'm actually going to get rid of all the markers. I just like to see the charts a little bit cleaner with just the bar color in the background. That's good enough for me to see what I need to see. And yeah, I just uh, just made those adjustments so it's easier for me and my style of trading and I can show you a little bit how I use it. So I'm just going to do a little review of what happened in today's market. Uh, August 26th, Friday, I trade the New York open time. Uh, this is a NQ chart, a one minute chart. And if you look over here, there's 930. That's the market open. Uh, we're already in a strong downtrend right around uh, 131.50 and didn't really move too much right at the open uh, but you can see it kept us looking in a short bias and uh, over here you'll notice uh, these numbers these step numbers this is the distance prices traveled and if a trend is weakening you'll see a little asterisk by the number right there by the 120. And in Ninza's manual, they describe when you see one of these asterisks that what can often happen is something like a star fading out right before it dies. It'll shine extra bright right at the end and uh, continue the move before it reverses. And right here, you can see that's exactly what happened. We got the trend weakening signal with the asterisks in the 120. And then when the trend strengthened again, it, it just it had one little last flare out. 
So I'd definitely be looking for a short right there when the trend resumed and we had a solid candle and if you got in right there at the close of that candle, uh, 75 to whole number, that's 75 points right there. This was during a news announcement, so everything was crazy, but that's what I like about uh, an indicator like this. It really helps you focus on what's going on with price and not get caught up on the whim of the market and how everyone's reacting to news and other events. So after this last fade out, we're still looking for a trend reversal now because the trend's been weakening. And so we're kind of waiting here. And then on this bar, uh, it crosses above the stop line here and we get a, a deep blue candle. And our trend line here turns green. The background turns green. And right at the close of that candle, uh, 13,060 you know, flies up over 100 points. So yeah, that was a pretty big move. So I'm kind of going to be on the sidelines for a little while. And you'll notice uh, price comes down right to the the stop line, that blue dotted line. And that's another way you can use these if you're if you're really looking for long. Still, you can kind of see how the market reacts at these stop lines. Oftentimes, it'll bounce right off of it. I mean, that was a uh, over a 30 point bounce right there. Uh, and then we see we got a nice solid pink candle. The trend line turns red and the background turns red. You know, it, it tanked a couple hundred points right there. And this solar wind indicator is keeping us in the trade the whole time. It's never changed color, never shown any signs of weakness. Uh, right here, you'll see the trend line turn yellow. That means it's ranging. And the bar color gets a little bit lighter, so you would definitely be kind of maybe looking for an exit there or just moving your stop. Uh, you could keep following this line and move your stop right up to the dotted line. And if you did that, uh, you'd still be in the trade. And when it resumed with these deeper colors and the trend line changing colors again, you could write it down again. And here we see some weakness. There's a little, there's a little asterisk right there. And uh, sure enough, we had a little one last burst of light there before it faded out. And then we're looking for a reversal, and it turns uh, bullish again. And I'm usually definitely done trading by 11 a.m. or noon, so <clears throat> I wouldn't be trading past this hour, but. Uh, you see it just kind of range, didn't really do much. But uh, if you were trading the pre-market today, uh, there was also some news it came out at 8.30, so that's what this spike is. But, uh, you know, it kept you looking for longs uh, during the pre-market. And you might not be super interested when it's yellow or the lighter color of candle, but when it goes back on, so green, and we have a deep blue candle. You could get in right there, go in the direction of the news reaction, uh, 3150 to 32.17. You know, it's another almost 60, 70 points. And yeah, it starts to range and turn light again, and if you're still in it. You might want to think about exiting there, tightening up your stop. But yeah, it's just some of the ways that I use it. Uh, Again, there's so many different ways to use this and customize it. Ninza makes it so you can completely customize all their indicators. Get something that you want to look at every day and something where it helps you see the markets clearly and, and be able to analyze your chart when there's periods of high volatility and you need to make split second decisions. So very helpful. Uh, and then just real quick, I could show you another example. Uh, this is yesterday, the day before. August 25th, uh, Thursday. Uh, if you want to see what it looks like on a different trading day, this is the New York Open uh, right there at 9.30. Uh, yesterday was super choppy. And as you can see, the solar wind indicator totally kept you uh, out of some bad trades and helped, helped you focus for sure. So there's a uh, market open. We're, we're looking a little bit bearish, but still... Uh, Mark is not really sure where it wants to go, and uh, we just had some asterisks over here. Trends possibly weakening, but maybe it's gonna 
Maybe it's going to shoot down one more time. Here the trend picks up, you know, four minutes into market open. Um, you know, goes down 10 or 12 points there and just chops all around and bounces off the trend line a couple times. Uh, you know, depending on your trading style, you might have been able to get in on some of these shorts. But it definitely kept you looking for shorts and not getting chopped up. And when it finally breaks above this uh, trend line here, you know, it's still still not convinced we're, we're in an uptrend yet. But it slowly starts the weekend. We get another asterisk. Um, we are already looking for a trend change because over here, the double asterisk, that means the trend is weakened twice. So when it does reverse and goes long, we definitely want to be looking for it because it could be a nice, a nice good breakout. And if we were patient and waited, uh, you can see we get our first blue candle. Uh, the trend line is turned green, background's green. And if we got in right there, uh, 13,024, you know, immediately pops up 40 points or so. And this is where it's suggesting the stop would go, although you could put it under uh, you know, a recent low or kind of this range area, you could put a stop under that area, somewhere in there. Uh, doesn't, doesn't always have to be right under the stop, but it moves up as price goes up, so you can keep moving your stop up with it. And uh, it's definitely it's keeping you from entering a short there. If you think you know it's gone a really long way, it's gonna retrace now, and you are following the solar wind, uh, you can see it's, it's weakening, but it's not shifting yet. And you know, once it gets strong blue again, it ends up going up again. And uh, and by this point, you're probably definitely thinking it's going to reverse at some point here. And we start getting the range and the light candles. And then when it finally does actually print a deep pink candlestick and the background changes color, uh, you know, it definitely does drop 60 points or so. Uh, and that's just that's just the first two hours of yesterday's market open. Uh, there's always tons of different possibilities, and you can obviously use this on any time frame, range charts, tick charts, whatever suits your trading style. So it's a really great indicator.